Hey guys, I'm Alan, and welcome back to the Dream YouTube Studio Build Series. We're making some nice progress, and I have a new addition that I want to show you. Let's check it out. Give me one second. Ta-da! <laughs> there we go. That is the new addition, a green screen. Let's take a closer look at it. So this is what the green screen looks like whenever it's fully retracted. This is made by Julius Studio, and my wife actually got this for me for my birthday, so this was a birthday present, and uh, I'm really happy with it. I've been using it quite a lot. Um, let's talk a little bit about how I mounted this thing. So you'll notice I have this board mounted to the ceiling. You may think that's a little bit odd. I do as well. Um, now the reason for that is because uh, these little hooks that these hang from right here, um, those little eyelets, if you guys can see those. Basically, they weren't going to land on studs, so I had to figure out a different way to mount this. I did not trust using drywall anchors to hang this because it's not that heavy, but, you know, you're pulling up and down on it a lot, and you're pulling, you know, straight down. So I was afraid if I hung this with drywall anchors just that it would come crashing down, so I didn't really want to do that. So I screwed that board into the studs and then hung it from those little hooks that you guys see. Now, these hooks... They have a little safety catch on them as well, so that way, uh, you know, it'll avoid this thing uh, sliding off there on accident. And this board, I routed the edges of it and then painted it white just to make it look a little bit nicer. And then I still have to go back and fill in those little uh, holes that you guys see. Well, they are filled in, but they're just not uh, repainted, so I need to paint over those. They just have, like, those little, like, wood pegs that you use to fill, like, screw holes with. Yeah, uh, I've been using it quite a bit. Now you guys may be wondering what I'm using this for. Um, I'm using it for thumbnails. So like whenever you see those thumbnails where I like cut out the background and it's just like me and then with just like a solid color background, uh, I'm using this to do that. You can do it without it, um, but it's just a little bit faster. It's easier to recognize like what's the foreground and what's the background whenever you have a nice, just kind of like solid uh, green screen or solid color. So yeah, I've been using this for thumbnails. One downside I have noticed uh, with the space that I have, it would be nice if I had a slightly bigger one, but for this space, I think it's about right. If I would have gone any bigger, I would have had trouble pulling it down because of my desk over here. We have a little bit of room between there and the piano, but then it wouldn't have been like centered in the room, so it would have looked kind of funny. So uh, yeah, just, I just kind of prioritized centering it over everything else. So yeah, maybe one day if we end up with a bigger space uh, in a few years, maybe we can get one that's slightly larger. It's fine whenever I don't have my guitar in my hands, but whenever I have my guitar, I have to like sit really close to it in order to get everything in the frame, which uh, if you've ever used a green screen before, you know, sometimes you can get an issue with like the green screen kind of like putting off a green tint on your pictures. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's maybe a little bit of an issue when you sit too close to it. But for thumbnails without a guitar in my hand, it, it works really, really well. So yeah, there we go. And whenever I'm done with this thing, I can just pull it up. Maybe I can do this with one hand, we'll find out. So you just pull down, and up she goes. I try to do this kind of slowly. Usually it kind of like catches, and then you have to pull it down again. Yeah, there we go. Has a little string that hangs down. I can reach the handle, so I could probably take that string off. And there's what it looks like whenever it's... Uh, fully retracted. It really doesn't even look too odd or anything. <laughs> I maybe should replace that vent. It looks kind of janky <laughs> compared to everything else in this room. Yeah, uh, so we'll have some more updates coming soon. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the green screen. It's been awesome so far, and it saved me quite a bit of time on editing thumbnails. Now, we still have several projects left on the studio, so be sure to uh, stay tuned to this series. But thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.